What is the crack, lads? We are back with episode 12 of our Dream Team Chronicles. And this is going to be a two, there's going to be two parts to this video. So the first part is we're going to be kind of doing a bit of a test and just talking about the gameplay and stuff with a new formation 343, which we're going to try and practice and try and use a little bit more. Um, we're going to switch it with wingers and just having direct three strikers up front. So in this game, we have Haaland lead the line with Romario and Messi on either side of him. And to be honest, lads, it's very OP. I think if you guys want to give it a, a give it a try, I think you'll have a lot of success with it. It's very direct, but the way that the gameplay has gone at the moment, I think that the, the possession gameplay in V1.1.4, cross my fingers, I think it's back a little bit. It's still not as fluid and as rewarding as V1.0. But I do think that, you know, with the gameplay that you guys are seeing here, this is V1.1.2. Obviously, we'll be back with episode 13, which will be uh, the latest patch and the latest update. There is, I think, in my opinion, a lot of um, subtle, small little changes. You'll see in this video, it's more about with V1.2. It's more about letting the opponent make a, make a decision on his defending. And then you just kind of exploit the space. But it's very hard to hold possession. I thought in V1.1.4 now, currently, I've played about 10 matches. I've done a Haaland review, which was a lot of V1.1.4 gameplay. And it seems to be a lot more fluid and a lot more responsive in terms of what you want to do when you don't have the ball. And when you do get the ball, it's just literally get the ball in, you know, to the player's feet and then get a, get a shot on target if you're up front or if you're a defender, pass it off or else clear it. But... Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, right? So I think I'm going to be trying this formation a little bit. You can see that there's so many clips here. The second part of this video is going to be a live uh, reaction video to me playing and testing out some of V1.1.4 um, and just seeing whether I think it's better or worse or whatever, but it is going to be live. This is just kind of like, obviously, we didn't play divisions in this, so there's going to be one game of divisions and then the rest are just the cup because I wanted to get a feel for the different types of gameplay experiences. Some people say that the events... Um, their gameplay is slightly different. I think myself, I tried to play a certain way, obviously, um, and I tried to play possession. I tried to limit chances. I tried to keep maybe 65, 70% possession literally every game and frustrate opponents. Not even frustrating opponents or being a dick or anything like that, but more about the case of I like to control the pace of the game. You know what I mean? I like to control where the ball is going to be intercepted from me. Am I covered if I get caught in the break? Um, and nine times out of 10, when I do concede a goal, it's because I've made a mistake. And I probably need to not let the game play me more than like play the game itself. I've, I've never seen this before with a player going down injured um, and I would try to get a rainbow flick over him. I've never actually seen a player go down and it not be called. He obviously got a warning that the player was, you know, tired or at risk of injury. And then I went in with a, a kind of a 50-50 and tackled him. And we do seal the game off here. But yeah, lads, let me know what you guys think with this video. We'll be back with a couple of more live ones with episode 13 onwards. But as you see there, that was just in the Worldwide Clubs event. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to hand you over to myself, who will be live comment the next couple of games. It's just a, a mix match. Um of different matches and stuff but yeah i've been enjoying v1.1.4 i think it's slightly better but there's still places to go with it and room to improve i'll talk to you in a minute lads enjoy the live com peace they need to improve that they need to improve that a lot come on ref will ya there's no ball being played there at all rage quitter and the ref might as well not be on the pitch oh my days Eddie V. No, I just can't score, man. Ah, oh, Cloud. Defensive AI seems to be a little bit better. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say everything yet, but the defensive AI seems a little bit better. Um, sorry if the mic was a bit far away as well, lads. Oh my God, that's a terrible pass. He's gone route one. Lovely. We go now. Now we can concentrate. Now we can start build attacks. Lovely Neymar. Haaland. Cloud. And a touch. Haaland! No. That was, there, was, there was a bit of a risk reward before at it. You know? And I just feel that that's kind of gone now a little bit. Roberto Carlos. Haaland's in there. Great ball! Oh, beautiful. That looked like a Haaland goal, didn't it? I just feel like there's so much assistance there now. That, like, that's my biggest problem. Like, I don't mind the game assisting you a little bit because obviously, you know, they have to keep it balanced in a way that 
you're, you know, you don't want, I don't want winning 10 nil every game or every single pass I make coming off. Like, but there's no real, in my opinion, there's no real deterrent against somebody playing completely balls to the wall. Like the no. space that comes up and you, when you get a bit of space, it kind of closes down automatically because there's so much assistance with the defendant. That's just my opinion at the moment. Like he's at, look how much space he's after giving me here, and it takes the wrong option. I'm trying to pass that into Romario. Again here, look at the space, Pedri. I can't get the ball over to Pedri. I just can't get it over to him. It's weird. It's weird. It's a weird experience. I think playing it compared to V1. Two added minutes has been indicated. Penalty. Nice from Diaz again, because he gives a lot of space, including this. Neymar. Oh, man. Where are you going? <clears throat> ha! You can't get past Maldini like that. Who do you think you're trying to get past there? Romario! Oh, the space is there! Romario! Oh, too easy. I should have finished there. It just really slowed down there for some reason. But Romario had the balance there to just hold off the defender, which is key. But look at the amount of space there that I'm getting because this play, this guy is playing. This is more like it, I think. It's just about holding possession a little bit. Oh, Maldini, get back. Maldini, what are you doing? What is that? Salah, easy from up in McCann, lads. I'm just gonna just take the sting out of this one now. It's a great play. And I must say, this game actually feels a lot smoother now than the last one. So connection probably does have a lot to do with it as well. It's brilliant. Romario! Oh. Yes! We'll get the sealer. Got lucky there. I've been poor in front of goal. I'm going to analyze this game again, lads, because I do think that this one is a little bit more freer. Am I able to pass the ball around a little bit and take the sting out of the game? It seems to be a little bit more responsive. It's still not where it needs to be, in my opinion, but it does seem to be a little bit more responsive. The passing seems to be a little bit better. Roll in Romario. Ah, oh, that's too easy for Romario, lads. Ah, oh, what a goal. All right. We could be onto something here, lads. Because I think in the first half of the game, I did a lot of complaining, but I was doing a lot of mistakes myself. And I've kind of gone back to in the second half, gone back to playing a little bit more possession, drawing into the players. I just still do think, though, that there is way too much assistance with the defensive AI. Yeah, I do. I do think it's a bit better, lads. I'm going to say it. Slightly. I think the responsiveness is definitely improved. But this game feels... Again, we've had that mixed bag. This game feels way more responsive than the last game.